Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day. So this week, obviously, I'm back with another video and this video will be talking about 10 things no one would tell you about engineering. So let's jump in. The first thing is everyone feels confused. I know you think it's just going to be you, but it's everyone. Now that I've been talking to people, I was like, do you feel confused in your first year? And everyone's response is yes. I felt so confused. Even people who knew they wanted to do engineering were still a bit confused in their first year. So that's to be expected. You're not just going to jump in and understand what's happening. It's going to take a while for you to settle in and kind of figure out what's going on. So expect confusion in your first year. The second thing is textbooks are super duper expensive, especially engineering textbooks. They're really, really expensive. So um, you can look for alternatives. Like I've said before in my previous videos, you can look for PDF versions, online versions. You can check out Chegg. I know they do like an online subscription of like different textbooks if you want to check that out. But there's always cheaper alternatives. So don't get thrown off when you see how expensive it is and it will be really expensive. Um, make sure you do your research and you dig hard for cheaper altern alternatives. The third thing is you'll need to plan your life by the second. Every second counts when you're in engineering because the volume of work you have to look at in engineering is a lot. So you have to plan your life by the second. You have to plan when you're going to eat, when you're going to sleep, how many hours you want to sleep, when you're going to study, when you're going to look at assignments, your past notes, your previous notes, things before class that you have to look at, everything all combined together is a lot of work. So you have to plan your time out wisely so you don't fall behind. The fourth thing, which people know all too well, especially me, is that you will consider changing your discipline. So I'm chemical engineering, but in my first year, I was like, hmm, maybe I'm not that interested in chemical engineering. Maybe I want to look at aerospace. Then I started going for aerospace, like uh, different workshops and like talks that they had for aerospace just to look at what it was about. And then I ran back to my chemical engineering. But it's normal for you in your first year to, if you're, especially if you're not sure, it's normal for you to want to see what's out there for the different engineering disciplines and maybe like reconsider changing what you actually selected initially. But I'm going to advise that you do your research very thoroughly so you don't end up in something that something entirely different than your game plan or something that you're not even going to be interested in in the long run. So yeah. Coffee and Red Bull will become your bestie. Coffee and Red Bull will become your bestie because, like I said before, every second counts and it's going to get really tough sometimes. The volume of work is so much that you might have to cut out some hours of sleep. And for you to do that, you obviously need coffee or Red Bull. Coffee was my choice, <laughs> but Red Bull works for some people. It's just the caffeine rush everyone needs to stay awake. So coffee and Red Bull will become your best friend and there's probably going to be free coffee coupons everywhere on your campus if you're in university or college. So grab all those because they'll come handy. The sixth thing is that your first year grades matter. They matter to a large degree. And I'm saying they matter because most people come into the first year and they're not too sure about what they're doing or people tell them that, oh, it's, don't, don't worry, just try it out and see. You have to be quite focused on your first year because that is, that's the foundation of your GPA like I said before and most people if you if you go to different forums and you talk to different people most people will tell you that their first year grades people who didn't do well in the first year they'll tell you that their first year grades really made them struggle throughout like their university because they were playing catch-up all through so if you have a good foundation and your first year grades are really good most likely you would have um you won't have to play catch up towards the end and you have a smooth sailing program the seventh thing is that eating healthy is so so hard eating healthy is the hardest thing because it's, when you're in school and you just want to study 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 and then you know you're in the groove you're studying and then you get hungry the first thing that will come to your mind is where is the closest place that i could grab food and that's not usually the healthiest choice I mean, there are some healthy choices um, around your campus, probably, that will be around your campus. But most likely, sometimes you'll just fall prey to like the unhealthy stuff and you'll be like, okay, fine, let me just get this so I can run back and keep on studying and not waste any time. So eating healthy is going to be so hard, especially if you're not packing food to school. If you're not packing food to school and you're not making your own food and bringing it to school, 
eating healthy on campus is gonna be really hard. The eighth thing is that you can find free food everywhere. There's always someone on some corner giving out free food to students or there's people who are doing workshops and just want you to come and listen and they give out free pizza or the student union sometimes just give out free food or if you're on my, if like um, my university, there were, I'm downtown, so I was in the city. So there's always people in the city handing out things to students, like cereal boxes or different things. So there's always free food and you need to be in the loop so you can save money. Also, I think they'll send you messages sometimes to your phone. They were like, oh, free pizza and learn or free pizza and this or free food, lunch and learn, blah, blah, blah. So make sure you're up to date on those things so you can get some free food. The ninth thing is that you might become a zombie. This is not for everyone. Some people know how to manage their time very, very well, but most people I know have had those zombie moments. You might become a zombie because you'll be running on so little sleep that you just can't, you just can't deal anymore. So you're going to be looking like a zombie. You're not going to be looking your best sometimes, but it's okay. It's all for a good cause, I think. <laughs> but yeah, you'll be looking like a zombie sometimes and it's just, you know, make sure you deal with it in the best way. The 10th thing is say bye bye to your social life. This is for most people, not all people, but like you don't have time to mingle and have fun and do all these things that you thought you would do in your first year because you're trying so hard to understand what's happening in the program. So because you're trying so hard to understand what's happening in the program, you're not gonna have time to be frolicking around and having fun and partying like everyone else. You're gonna be looking outside your window and being like, I wish I was them. But sadly, you're in this program and this program, this program is very demanding. So you're most likely going to have a very mediocre social life, which is why you need to form a nice network within your program also so that you can study with people and you don't feel like you're really left out from the fun because if you're studying with people that you know you like or people who you've made a friendship with it makes it easier so that's a tip so these are the 10 things no one would tell you before going to engineering and i hope this helped for people who are starting school in september um i'm hoping that you would use this tips and you use this information to your advantage. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'll have another one next week, Wednesday. Hopefully, go to my channel, NM's Engineering Envelope, to check out other videos that will be useful for your education in general. My, ed my channel is educational based, so you'll find different videos that you might enjoy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave comments in the comment section, give me feedback. As always, I'm always begging for feedback. Thank you, bye.